Recently, in this video, we created a macro that renamed the worksheets from this list. But how do you use that macro on any spreadsheet in Excel? Press Alt and F11 to open the VBA editor. This is the macro that was created in your project view window. If you've recorded a macro previously, you will have this personal XLSB structure. If you don't have this personal XLSB structure, click file and close and return to Excel. Click on the developer tab and choose record macro. From the store macro in drop down list, ensure personal macro workbook is enabled. Click OK. Just click a cell, then click stop recording. Now press Alt and F11 to return to the VBA editor and you'll see you have the new structure, personal Excel SB, along with any modules you've created. Let's delete the macro we've just recorded. Right click and choose remove module. Click no when it asks you to export it. Select the macro you want available to all spreadsheets. Drag it to the personal Excel SB structure. You can see it's now being moved under that structure. You can now remove the original macro if you wish. Click save and then file and close and return to Microsoft Excel. Close Excel. If you get the message, do you want to save the changes you made to personal macro workbook? Choose yes. Now when you open a new workbook, press Alt and F8 to open the macro window. You can see your rename worksheet macro is available. Click run and your macro can be used in any spreadsheet in Excel. Subscribe for more computer tips and hacks. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.